Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a POP email account to your Gmail account. I get asked this quite a lot from my clients and, uh, and I also do a lot of this setting up for my clients as well. So I thought I'd do a video about it so that uh, my clients could uh, do it themselves. It's quite easy um, and I'm just going to show uh, now show you how to do it. So um, why would you want uh, Google or Gmail to fetch emails from another email account? Well, perhaps you're uh, you're on the road and you want to use uh, your mobile phone to collect your emails uh, or maybe um, uh, you're using a tablet and um, you're always on Google anyway, so you might as well just get your emails through there or uh, or you're at home on your computer and you don't have Outlook um, and you don't want to use Outlook, you just use uh, Google Gmail for uh, all the emails to send and receive emails through that. Okay, so um, let's do this, shall we? I'm going to go into my account. You'll see uh, on the screen here my Gmail account. Now, I've got a... Um, an email account called paul at goldcoastbusinesswebsites.com.au and my gmail account uh, which is bavlo4 at gmail.com uh, so that particular email or gmail account fetches emails that come through my server uh, to my paul at Gold Coast Business Websites. Um, I can do that because I've set it up and I've added that to uh, the gmail account which I'm now going to show you how to do so, the th things that you actually need first are um, you need to know your email address. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Um, so it'll be your name at whatever domain.com that you that you choose, and you need the password for that email account as well. Uh, you also need the server settings that the email address is using. So. If we just quickly come over here, um, if you're using cPanel, it's pretty easy to find those server settings. You just come into the main page, like uh, into cPanel, um, go to email accounts, and then go to the email in question. So this is the one I'm going to actually add to my Gmail account. Uh, I'm going to go to the more tab, going to click on configure email client, and then I've got, you'll notice these settings here. So um, this is for secure uh, server connection or a non-secure server connection. I am actually going to be using the secure SSL settings uh, that are going to go through my Gmail account. So I'll be using these particular details and we'll go through each one of those. So let's go ahead, shall we? So if you don't know these details, uh, contact your host and they will um, tell you Okay, so we'll go back in here and we've got uh, Google Gmail again. So we'll go up to the gear icon just up in the top right hand corner, all the settings. Then we're going to go down in the drop down menu to settings. So I'll click on that and a new window will appear, uh, the settings window. Then we're going to go to the fourth uh, tab across, which is accounts and import. We're going to click on that. And then we've got uh, a few interesting things here. So if you go down to the fourth section, which is check emails from other accounts, that is exactly what we want to do. So you'll see that I've got my Paul at Gold Coast Business websites there, um, and it's got a bit of, uh, of information about that. And I've also got another one of my emails as well there as well. But I'm going to add another one. So add a POP3 mail account that you own. So I'm going to click on that, and a little window will pop open. So the center forward so we'll go so that's the email I want to put in so you just type in the email address and go next step now it's going to ask the username so the username is just typically the uh, email address again so I'm just uh, highlighting and copying that and then um, or you can just type it in uh, the password is uh, the password I'm not going to tell you what that password is Okay, so this is where the settings come in. So now I can I can fetch the email, or I can get Gmail to fetch the email through an unsecure set, server, but I'm not going to do that because I'm security conscious. So I'm going to go back into my cPanel settings. Now I've got uh, the incoming server settings here. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to just highlight that and copy it. So the shared CP. And I'm going to go down to... 
here. I'm going to paste that in there like that. So it's got uh, that full thing. Now it's telling me also in these settings that I need a POP3 port of 995. So I'm going to choose that in the port here, 995. Okay, so that's fine. We'll move ahead now. Uh, so leave a copy of retrieve message on the service. Uh, I'm not going to leave it. I'm just going to keep it blank because um, I, I don't want emails to sort of clog up my server. Plus, Gmail is going to act as a backup anyway for me, so I'm going to leave them there. Um, or I'm going to untick it, I should say. Leave it unticked. Always use secure connection, SSL when retrieving mail. Yes, because I've actually imported those uh, those details in. Label incoming messages. I will label it. I can actually create a new label if I want, um, but I'm not going to. But you can if you wish. And I'm gonna tick. I'm gonna untick. I'm not gonna even tick that because I don't want. I don't want to just keep go straight into archives. I want it to just. I want it to go to the inbox. Okay, so we'll add the account. And if all goes well, you should get another screen that says your mail account has been added. Okay, so that's great. Now it's asking us if we want to actually be able to send email f through that account um, or through using Gmail. Uh, and yes, I would like to. So I'm going to go next step. It's going to again ask me for the name. I'll just leave that. Uh, the email address is there. Now treat as alias. I'm going to untick that. Uh, a few people might have a few problems if it is an alias. Um, just click on the new Learn More tab. I won't go into it, but um, it just means that there might be a few issues if it is treated as an alias. Something to do with the to and from fields when you uh, send and receive an email. Um, so yeah, just uh, just click the Learn More if you uh, want to know more about that. Okay, next step. Now this is where it gets all very interesting again. So the SMTP server. So this is the outgoing server details. So just think of it like Google is actually going to be sending the email, but it's actually going to be sending it through your server. So you need to actually know those details. So we'll come back here again and oh, okay, that's this exactly the same. So we'll put in, I'll get rid of spaces. Google doesn't like spaces and make sure there's no spaces on the end as well. Okay, so we've got a port of 587 there, but we need, according to this, a port of 6465. So I'll select that. Username again is just the email address. Password I shall put in. Okie dokie, so that should be it. Secure connection using SSL, recommended. Recommended, yeah, that's a word. Um, <laughs> uh, so we're going to now add the account and then another little pop-up should come up. Um, it says, congratulations, we've successfully located your other server and verified your credentials. Just one more step. They have to verify it to make sure that you actually own that email account because you could, you know, you could set an email up um, for somebody's and, and start fetching other people's emails and that could be a little bit dodgy. So if you know their password and Anyway, that could be dodgy. So they want you to make sure that you can verify it. So we'll now go back in here. We'll go actually into my inbox. All right, there we go. Actually in my Gmail account, so Gmail confirmation. And here's the confirmation code. So I'll double click on that and copy that. So control C on a PC or command C on a Mac. And I'm gonna paste it in there, control C. Control V on a PC and Control uh, Command V on a Mac. Okay, so I've got the code in there. I'm going to verify, and it is now done. Great, fantastic. So you'll notice now that uh, I've got my email address there. So Paul at gcbwhosting.net. So any emails that come through, or as people send me to that email, uh, this Gmail account will actually get uh, will fetch now there is a bit of a there is a bit of a delay so if somebody sends you an email um, it does take a bit of time for Google to uh, fetch the email and collect it from your server so it's not as instantaneous as you would like it to be but you've just got to be a little bit patient um, it eventually will come through um, but it does take a bit of time you'll notice that down the side here I've got uh, my email address there as well I can I can go to that specific account 
and I can uh, look at the inbox uh, specifically for that email address. Now if I want to compose, I just click compose and uh, obviously put in the to whoever it's going to. But then the from section, you can click on the down arrow and now you can choose or now uh, if you've done it correctly, you'll see your email address in here um, and you can actually use it to send out from. And um, and that's pretty much it. That's how you um, yeah, that's how you do it. Or you can select another email to send from. So so yeah, that's it. That's um, how you add a POP3 email account to your Gmail account. Um, so when you're on the run next, uh, you can download that Google app onto your phone and start collecting and seeing your emails on uh, your your movements around town. So. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And um, if you have any comments, please uh, leave them in the um, uh, in the comment fields, or just uh, ask a question. Or you can email me, uh, Paul at GoldCoastBusinessWebsites.com.au, and I will see it uh, <laughs> coming through my Gmail if you email me. Um, and uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.